What's going on guys? Today we're doing some bass fishing. It's been a couple days since we've been on the water, but we are fishing on the, the basically the western ed, eastern edge of the Florida Everglades here in Palm Beach County, and hopefully we can get on a big bass fight today. There are a lot of gators out here this morning, and you can see there's one right here within 10 feet of me, probably closer than that. But I, I don't want to get much closer. Brian's trying to push me towards him, but I'm good. I'm good. Stop. We're going to see a lot more than just one. Well, we see you biting. I already got three in like five minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. Nice. Are we going to run north or south? Um, we're going to go south. Okay. Very cool. I'm excited. This is Steven, and we're going fishing today. Hopefully, we get, he, just, he just said that he caught three bass in five minutes. So, little ones, little yeah. ones, but yeah. they still count. So, we're going to get on some fish today, I think. That was a weird hit, too. That, that was, was not aggressive. That was great. Oh, all right. All right, so I was trying the Racky Rig this morning, caught a little bass on there. I don't have anything to show video-wise because it just wasn't impressive enough. But I'm just using the Whopper Popper right now on the surface. I just got a hit, just caught a fish, and he just came off right here by the side of the boat. So I'm going to try to get another fish into the boat. Kind yeah. of an average fish around here. The little ones sometimes fight hard. You set a hook and you feel like you set it into a rock. And then you bring it in and it's this little fish. All right, I've got my first fish. Well, my second fish, but my first fish on camera in the boat. And I'm using my little wacky rig here, little wacky worm setup. And I am using the Gambler Fat Ace in the lane toad color and uh, this seems to be slow this morning using this but i think i'm going to maybe switch up my color and try maybe june bug color or something different but let me get this hooked out there we go nice little fish i'm gonna release him we've got apparently a pet gator that is following us along this little stretch we just pulled up to a few like i would say a half hour ago but we're just moving along, trolling along with the trolling motor, and he is slowly following us. I think he wants our fish, but Steven said that they had a gator yesterday he was fishing that was very aggressive. I was trying to bite the side of the boat, so that might be the same gator. I'm not sure. See that? I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Screw you. <laughs> Too bad. That's a really curious gator. He's not leaving. Definitely at least six foot, maybe seven foot. <laughs> Anywhere the engine turns, he turns his head and he just follows. What your Oh my gosh! Don't feed him. That's crazy. <laughs> he is hungry. That gator is no joke. He really he wants our fishes. And this little fish looks like right off the hook. Yeah. And this is like perfect little bait right here for him, but we're not feeding this gator. We're leaving him alone. But he's hungry and he's not leaving the boat, that's for sure. Alright, letting this little fish go. Yeah. Hey, finally. Whoa. Oh, it's a bowfin. He just spit. Whoa, he was big. He just came up by the side of the boat. All right. I am trying everything today. We are having a very slow bite out here, but we're trying. I am throwing all kinds of different things through some gambler little easies. I threw some crankbaits, some topwaters like the Whopper Plopper. Um, now I'm trying the Wacky Rig again, and I've changed my color instead of using a little bit of dark colors today. Switched it up to something light. And actually this little worm right here is from a fan. Thank you, William Rossi, for sending it to me. And he hand makes these, or pours these uh, plastics, and he named this one the sizzle pink pearl so I just lost the bow fin by the side of the boat but I'm gonna try to catch a bass on this so thank you William 
while I'm fishing, I guess I'd tell you guys about a couple upcoming events that are coming up, especially since it's just so slow out here. So while I'm trying to catch a fish, I'm going to tell you. But this upcoming weekend is the Dolphin Brawl Tournament, and it's put on by the Offshore Anglers Club out of Boynton Beach, Florida. And uh, I'm going to be fishing that tournament. Super excited. It's a dolphin tournament, like, like I said, dolphin brawl. But I also think they have a blackfin tuna category, and we're going to go out there. We're going to pre-fish on Friday, and then we're going to fish the tournament on Saturday, which is April. Don't know the exact date. But it's this upcoming weekend, so I'm very excited for that. And then also, the weekend of May 5th through 7th, I'm going to be in the Florida Keys and we'll be fishing the, the Bull and Cow Tournament out of Marathon, Florida. I've never fished this tournament before. There's a big money tournament. I think it's a guaranteed like $25,000, $10,000 prize. But the more boats that register, the better. So the prize gets bigger and bigger. And um, they catch some serious fish down there. The, the bull and cows that they catch, dolphin-wise, they're in the 50 to 60 pound range. Huge fish. So I'm really looking forward to that, fishing that, and seeing how it goes down in the Florida Keys, fishing for dolphin. I've never really got to do that before. So I have a lot of exciting upcoming events in the next coming weekends, and just looking forward to it. Hopefully we catch a lot of fish and we don't have a slow day, but you know what? That's why it's called fishing and not catching. I always say this, but it's so true. So you can't get frustrated. You just got to keep fishing, keep lines in the water at this point. That happened so fast. Nice. He's fighting hard. Hard fighter. Woo. Feisty little guy. There goes the interior. Alright. Okay. Moving up in the world a little bit over here, finally. Woo! Finally got one in the boat after a lull, a little bit of a lull there. But uh, I'll take it. And I, once again, switched my wacky worm color. I was using that pink one and I got bit off by a mudfish or a bowfin. Um, and I got a couple bites by another bowfin or mudfish. So I changed the color. Got a nice little chunk right here. Sweet. All right, so I figured I'll just show you what I'm using since I just caught a fish and it actually worked. Um, but basically starting with my bait, I'm using a six inch fat ace. It's basically a Senko and it's made by Gambler Lures. And this is Gambler Lures black blue glitter blue tail. And you can see that the, that the uh, tail fades into this blue here. Pretty cool, looks nice in the water. And then I'm using a Mustad. I believe this is a three aught worm hook. And I've got this little clamp that goes over here. So that way when the fish bites it, or I don't get any weed on it, it makes it weedless. That's pretty sweet. And then um, I just attached it with the Uni Yacht, and I'm using six pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, and uh, that's about three foot long. And then I just have it tied directly to my braid, and I am using 20 pound braid as my main line. Yeah, gotta catch up to it, man. Yeah. Another fishy for me. I like that color. Yeah, this is the color today. All right, so I've just been using the wacky rig, changing up a ton of colors, just trying different things. I was just using that black and blue glitter, but decided to go ahead, whoops, and change it. Is it fishy? Um, so now I'm using a different color, but just got my first bite after throwing it for about two minutes. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's the smallest oh. fishy ever. Okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. Smallest baby ever. All right, back to back casts, fish on. I got something. Hey, you, you. Got him. Got him. Woo. All right, little boy. Chill. I don't know how he got that inhaled, but he did. All right. Got to use my bubble blade pliers and get this hook out of his mouth. All right, so just using my uh, brand new bubble blade pliers. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold on, fishy. Hold on. All right, trying to save him this worm out of my way um, but yeah I've been just oh there it went just popped out but I if you guys don't know I just got sponsored by bubble blade and I actually showed all the products in a recent video um, but yeah I love these pliers really nice really affordable too. check them out link in the description below
Next to that gator, Skizzle. I think this is, honestly guys, I think this is the gator from this morning that was like approximately in the same spot when we arrived. And he's totally just chilling. Actually, he just opened his eyeball. Stop it! <laughs> But that's like as tall as me. I think like five foot gators are probably like 80 pounds. They're definitely under 100, but that's a full grown gator. Not as big as, not as big as a, you know, a monster, but pretty close to them. But they're, you know, during the day, they like to get sun for those of you. Get closer, go give them a Can kiss. Can you stop? I'm trying to tell people who are not aware that gators like a lot of sun and uh, they, they're very lethargic during the day. So this guy is just chilling and he's but like, still don't totally, do this. This is too close. Totally stand it. Yeah. This is dangerous. He's totally just chilling and taking a little nap. But this is dangerous. But you know, <laughs> I'm not here during the dusk or the dawn. So that's like the times you got to be extra careful because they would be right there stalking you. I'm very close to him. Just, <laughs> Hold on. Let me get a picture. Come on. his eyeballs again. We've got the boat on the trailer and we're wrapping up our fishing trip and just unloading stuff and putting it in the truck. But we had an excellent day of fishing. Both Steve and I, I would say we caught about 10 fish each. So that's a good day in my book. There's no size to the fish, but you know what? Like, it's still a lot of fun. And you know, especially changing up my techniques. I was constantly changing colors, baits, tactics, all that great stuff and just seeing what would work. So we had an excellent day. Big thank you to Steve for inviting me out. It was an awesome day. We got to do it again one day when they catch, he's caught like 75 fish in one day. So sometimes it's an epic bite out here. So hopefully we'll get back out here with him. But um, he's not a charter captain, he's just a friend of mine. So uh, thank you guys once again so much for watching this video. If you're interested in any of the stuff that we used, I'll have that all, all that information linked down below in the description. And once again, until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.